This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 28 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Uh, so just select this internal polygon right there, and grow, and bring it back a bit. And now press shrink, and bevel it uh, outward a bit. Bring it back. Okay, inset, doesn't really matter how much you inset it by, Oops. okay, and extrude, okay, select this edge here, loop, chamfer, alright, and you can take these these rivets and just copy them right in. I think for these though you really only need two. So create two and select that and copy there and right there. And you can with angle snap off just rotate each one a bit, just to give it a little bit of variation. Alright, and select all materials, just apply a gray material, make it black. We can now start working on the floor, I guess. Um, actually, let's start working on these little side pieces right here. So I'm going to the four view thing and um, well, my reference image is gone. Put your uh, background image back here for a second. So I'm gonna do that. All right. Um, let's start by making a box. Yeah. So just make a box kind of in the general area there and bring it up to the same height. And that looks kind of tall, so bring it down just a bit lower. Bring it up to about that line right there. And convert it to an editable poly. Polygon, select this one, and bring it back to about there. And let's see, hinge from edge. Pick hinge right there. Uh, we want 45. Okay. And extrude that one for a little bit. About, say, 25 point five looks pretty good. Then hinge from edge, pick hinge, use the same setting as before. Okay. So that gives us a 90 degree angle now. And extrude that about uh, let's see. Thirteen looks pretty good. Okay. Now we've got that basic shape going on. Maximize this viewport again. And then go into polygon mode, select these polygons, uh, inset, and inset them about 
1.84. You're going to want to bevel inwards a bit. Okay, and extrude in a bit. Select the edges and chamfer them. Alright. Mm. Then let's do. What do we want to do next? Mm. Alright, let's do the little cylinders in here. So create a cylinder. Uh, make sure you're using auto grid and get it right up to the corner there and build a relatively big one and make sure it goes right below it alright and you want the radius again to be kinda of big so I'm gonna make mine 3.9 convert to an editable poly polygon, select the top and just like before, select the edges, chamfer Okay. However, a little differently. Make sure inset about one, and extrude down just a tad. Select this edge here. Loop chamfer. So I'm trying to make a more realistic model in the picture. If you haven't guessed that yet. All right. Uh, select the main mesh here, and let's see what this. Select all these outside polygons here and get their edges and deselect these ones right here. Alright, and give those a chamfer. About 0.23 looks pretty good. Um, next, let's take this and select edge, connect uh, twice, polygon, select all those polygons there, bevel on the local normal, decrease the height a bit, and increase the outline amount. So have the height at about 0.26 and the outline amount at about negative 0.25. Then go into the top view and copy it right back here so it's about equal. And then here you're going to want to copy it over here. Okay, perspective. Pretty good, and yeah, let's build some rivets. So, cylinder, and uh, create a cylinder here. Let's do these big ones first. So create a cylinder here, make it kind of big, bring the height down to about 0.5, give it 8 sides, convert to editable poly, polygon, select there, and edges, chamfer, okay, and you're just going to want to copy it down. Just copy it, oh well, I guess you can see it all the way down, so make that last copy there. And then select all of those. Okay, go to the top view. Copy them over here. And with angle snap off, just rotate them and sink them right in. 